everyone, you join me, well, in case if you can't hear the sheep, I'm in Wales, but not anywhere in Wales. I'm on the Black Mountain Pass, possibly one of the best driving roads in the UK. And I am right next to a Porsche Cayman GT4. Now, in case some of you guys may or may not know, that's the owner, by the way. His name's Richard. He goes by the name of Moonlight Donkey. Why are you running? I don't know. Oh, I'm out of breath. Hello, my Hi. name's Richard. Oh, yeah, he wants Oh, brilliant. Shall, right, uh, shall I just drive? I think we'll do that now. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, by the way, go check his uh, YouTube channel out and Instagram. He goes uh, Moonlight Donkey. And there's also a giveaway prize of this car. It's going for a raffle. It's called Moonlight Prizes. For £20, you can have a one of one in the UK PTS Golf livery Porsche Cayman GT4 with Club Sport Pack and still brakes because if you have ceramics, it costs four grand to replace them. I know because I had one. Anyway, right, I'm going. Bye. Oh, yes, it's good to be back in the Cayman GT4 and that lovely flat six. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's slow down in a minute and actually talk about the reason why I'm driving this car because for the regular viewers out there, you might be wondering, Sid, you've had one, you, then you got rid of it, then you bought another, and now you're driving another. Stop braining us about how much you like the Cayman GT4, but it's a, it's a brilliant car. It just is, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of miss my one, you know. I got rid of it because it was quite costly and I thought I'd be clever by swapping it for a McLaren 12C, in which case was a good idea until two weeks after it blew up and ever since then I've just not bothered getting anything expensive but I've had the opportunity to drive this one while filming another car today which is a Mercedes AMG A45S which you'll see that video in the next couple of days but anyway let's talk about the Cayman GT4 and let's talk about what makes this car really really special so a brief recap 3.8 litre flat six makes 385 horsepower this car does 0 to 16 4.4 seconds, but who cares because it's got a six speed manual gearbox and it's just absolutely excellent to drive. So with my old Cayman GT4, I never got the chance to take it to Wales. And more importantly, I dreamt of taking this car to Black Mountain Pass because it's just a fantastic driving road. If you are a nerd of Top Gear and a nerd of many other motoring journalists, YouTube channels, you know that they use this road quite a lot and yes we're coming into autumn it's probably one of the final summer days that we have and before the weather goes a bit crap i just want to enjoy some of this special driving moments so this car has e-pass steering it's got plenty of fill the cayman gt4 is really a track oriented car but do you know what as a road car it's it's proper it's just proper manual gearbox a right amount of torque this car's running the mission pilot sport cup 2 tires i reckon it should run on mission pilot sport 4s tires but that could be up to you if you pay 20 pounds for this giveaway moonlight prize giveaway ends on friday it will end and for £20, you could own possibly one of the best Porsches ever to be made and listen to the soundtrack. None of that OPF bollocks, just a, oh, a sonorous, beautiful flat six soundtrack. And you know what's nice about this car? I'm not really driving the absolute wheels off of it to get the most out of it because I'm enjoying the lovely weighting of the steering, the lovely manual gearbox, the way this car just flows down the B road. This road is very tight, very twisty, very technical, but it's also a car that you can just enjoy. And here on the Black Mountain roads during this beautiful sunset, I'm just enjoying every moment of it. So apologies if you are watching another Cayman GT4 video, because I just want to tell you guys exactly I think of this car and this one's actually very very special because it's one of one in PTS Golf Orange. I quite like the colour. I'd have the wheels in silver but hey that's each to their own. One thing that I do like about this car is it's got the Club Sport pack which means that you get these lovely snazzy 918 carbon bucket seats and you know what? 
climbing in and out of them is a bit of a pain, but once you're in it, it's beautiful. The seating position is really nice. It hugs you in all the right places. It's just proper. It's just proper and I love it. It's just an awesome thing. This car has the steel brakes. You can spec it with carbon ceramics. Personally, I wouldn't bother. I just have the steel brakes because yes, carbon ceramics do fade a little bit less, but even Porsche tells you that if you're doing lots and lots of track days, you're better off having the steel brakes because it's just way more cost effective. And this road, the A4069, please come to this road because it's just beautiful. It's just sensational. I, yeah, I've never been here before and I'm glad I've come here because it's, yeah, it's proper. I like it. It is. I think I might have another GT4. In fact, I might buy a ticket. I think I will buy a Moonlight Prize ticket. Imagine I win it. That would be hilarious. It would come across as some sort of stitch up. You've got the button. If you can't heel and toe, it does all that blippy stuff for you, which is actually quite nice. It does it better than how I would usually do it, but I like doing it myself as well too. Yeah. But yeah, Black Mountain Pass. And I popped my first cherry on this road in a Porsche Cayman GT4. What a road to do it on.